Lily here. I am um, sipping some Lovato's with some superfood blends from Four Sigmatics. I this this gingery one is it's an un, uns, unsung hero of the superfood of the uh, Four Sigmatic. Speaking of Four Siggy, they just um, got these new socks in. Let me show you guys. <laughs> Yeah, speaking of forcing, look, I just got some of these socks from their site. I couldn't pass these up. They've got these adorable little mushrooms. They're uh, just some crew socks. Um, I thought they'd make, um, they'd be really adorable around Valentine's Day. Oh, speaking of other new stuff while I'm over here, you may have noticed that this morning, I've been doing the Blogilates, uh 30 day ab challenge, but I also got a hula hoop on Amazon. It's, uh, I know it sounds odd, but I've really been having fun with it just as a little extra. It's good for your, um, obviously your coordination. It's good for your abdominal strength, your hips, your thighs, and it, uh, it actually gets your heart rate up a little bit the longer you do it. And so I've been having fun with that in the morning, along with those Blogilates exercises to kind of get myself up and going. Uh, it kind of gets your heart rate up. It's, it's, uh, there used to be this thing a friend of mine had. It was called a Wii. I don't know if they still make Wiis anymore. But on the Wii, it was like this interactive video game where you could do exercises with it. And they had like a virtual hula hoop thing. And I became fixated with doing doing this game. I'm not really into video games, but the Wii hula hoop was was hard to stop. Uh, that and there was a Wii a Wii tennis that was a lot of fun. The Wii was fun. The Wii was the one video game thing that I got into. Of course, it flopped. But yeah, oh, I um, wanted to tell you guys, I am really appreciating a difference now. I think I've been using it for, I don't know, what, two months now? No, maybe six weeks. I'm really appreciating a marked difference in my skin since getting the Cool Mist Humidifier. It, it has really just made my skin feel like it's so much healthier and my sunscreen in the morning goes on so much easier. I don't know what it is. It just, it's almost like my skin is more even somehow. I'm not sure. You know, having a cool mist humidifier in the bedroom is, is a very good way to help combat dry winter skin and also to um, help the skin barriers kind of restore itself at night. Uh, and that Lavoie one has been really phenomenal. So yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys because I think it's really making, has really made a huge difference. Not only in the skin on my face, but also on my legs and arms. I'm not having as much dry winter eczema problem, you know, problems with my eczema. Um, it's been fantastic. So yeah, that and CeraVe and Tretinoin and my sunscreen, those are like my, those are like my, my skincare heroes right now. It's basically, that's basically all I'm using. <laughs> that is the last of 32 ounces of that orange natural comb. It's my first water of the day. I put I put two teaspoons of natural comb magnesium in my in my water. Just kind of gives it gives me a little I don't know a little flavor a little flavor, flavor judge. But Speaking of flavor judge, let me show you what I'm taking with me <clears throat> today as my drink. Move over Starbucks. I'm really proud. I'm really proud of this mambo combo. All right, so this is the iced tea that I have invented and am rather proud of. Rather proud of my, my concoction. This is the Stash Cranberry Pomegranate Herbal Tea. I brewed it here uh, in just one cup of water, one tea bag, let it steep for uh, five minutes. And it's kind of come to room temperature. I also, um, once I took the tea bag out after the steeping time, I added um, a uh, eighth of a teaspoon of stevia, which is one serving, uh, to sweeten this. So I'm just going to pour that over ice here in the tumbler. And then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of this pure rose nectar. I have been putting this in so many things. It's really good with pomegranate. You guys remember from my grocery haul last week, I got those pomegranate seeds. I was making these pomegranate um, smoothies with that vanilla protein powder and a teaspoon or two teaspoons of this. Oh, so good. This is, is really good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of the rose nectar to my pomegranate iced tea and then add some cold water and I'm gonna take that with me on the go for an antioxidant punch. But this doesn't taste like perfume at all. I just add a teaspoon. Serving is, is a tablespoon, but I kind of break it up throughout the day. 
Um, but this is different from rose water in that it um, it's about four times it's four times more concentrated than rose water. Um, but it doesn't have any calories or um, sugar. I just add water to top it off, and I give it a swizzle. Here, I'll show you guys what it looks like. The ice melts, but it's cold. You can add a little bit more ice, but yep, that's the antioxidant punch. Yeah, this in combination with pomegranate, it is, it is a pollutant defense. Well, hey guys, what's up? It is the uh, the late afternoon. I'm headed out to run errands, and I'm wearing my new my new Cooley Bar face shield. Here, I can pull it up so you guys can can hear what I'm saying. I'm wearing my cool <clears throat> my new Cooley Bar face shield. This, you guys, is answering the one of the most frequently asked questions in the comments, and that is, how do I cope with reapplying sunscreen when I wear a full face of makeup? This, ladies and germs, is how you do it. <laughs> uh, seriously, that that's the most straightforward answer. Just wear a face shield. Because uh, sunscreen, uh, you know, first of all, nobody should be relying on sunscreen alone as their sun protection. You, you, you need, you know, broad brimmed hats, sunglasses uh, and you need to be cognizant of, of how much sun exposure you're getting. Sun that comes in through the window plays a role in all of this uh, and uh, sun that comes in through comes through clouds. Even when the UV index is, is zero, UV index only reflects UVB. It doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't capture UVA in that measurement. It captures UVB. So it's not capturing the, the threat of the aging rays. So in order to protect your skin and truly, truly pursue anti-aging skin care, you gotta, you gotta do sun protection and you gotta do it full circle. And as far as sunscreen, if you apply sunscreen and you don't reapply it, you know, <clears throat> that's like that's like making a salad a, 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 a nutritious salad in the hopes of eating better, putting it on the table and then not actually putting it in your mouth. I mean, you know, you have to you have to carry the behavior out all the way. You have to continue to reapply it at least three times a day when you are indoors all day, but every two hours when you're outdoors, every two hours if you are out in your car all day running errands, doing stuff, every two hours. Uh, no, no matter what, what the UV index is, no matter what the cloud coverage is, um, you need to do that. Unless it's, unless it's pitch black, dark out, the sun's down at nighttime, then you don't need to be doing it. Um, yeah, you need to do it um, in order for in order for any anti-aging concerns to to be effective. Uh, you know, otherwise sunscreen is completely waste, completely useless. But it's hard to apply it for those of you over over your makeup that that you wear. Which <laughs> side note, why are you still wearing makeup? <laughs> I'm kidding. I know you guys love makeup, um, and uh, so I, I I acknowledge that. You know, it plays it, it brings value to your lives in various ways. Um, I don't doubt that, um, that, that it doesn't have a, a play a role. And, you know, foundation does offer like an SPF of three. So, um, I suppose it's not completely the devil. Um, you know, it sounds, it sounds, it sounds baddie, but, uh, you know, if you're, if you're truly interested in, in, in anti-aging, all that cosmetic serum crap is complete, you know, complete waste, complete waste. Even if it works, even if all that jazzy cosmeceutical stuff that the skincare companies claim the products do, even if they do something, which is highly unlikely, um, you're, 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 uh, ruining it by not protecting your skin, you know, um, you're, you're really just wasting, wasting your money. I mean, skinceuticals, schmooticals, you're, you're, you're blowing, you're blowing money on, on, on something that's, that's getting destroyed by, by the, by the lack of the behavior, which is, which is the main anti-aging behavior. Also have these, uh, UV protective, uh, gloves for my tops of my hands to keep them protected from sunspots, age spots. Um, so yeah, I wear sunscreen on my hands a lot, but I gotta say these are very convenient. Uh, they've got the little finger, fingers cut out for, you know, dexterity purposes, outdoor research. 
So yeah, um, this is great. The, the sun protection on the hands is really important because that's what contributes to those dark spots on your hands or aging of the hands. And they're really hard to, hard to reverse. But anyways, yeah, I just went to the bank um, and I'm sure this was rather alarming. <laughs> Me going up to the ATM with this. Actually, I didn't go up to the ATM with this, I have to admit. I actually wore my, I have a hat here. I actually wore my hat and skipped this because, you know, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to get arrested today. <laughs> So, yeah, but uh, this thing is awesome. This is that coolie bar essential. It snaps in the back so it covers your neck. Wonderful. I kind of feel like, uh, like a sunscreen ninja right now, you guys. So I'm here in Costco and Chuck Norris has a total gem. I mean, I think this has been out for a while, but this is the kind of thing people get tempted to buy this time of year where they have all their resolutions are still relatively fresh. And then it ends up on a garage sale. But it actually looks like it'd be kind of fun to do. This thing, that looks hard. You can adjust the incline. $289.99. I got prematurely excited when I saw these dried ginger slices, but they ruined them by adding sugar to them. Ugh, it's so annoying. It's really impossible to find dried ginger that does not have sugar in it. I've had this organic fruit medley before. I'm not gonna get it, but it's pretty good. It's got figs, strawberries, apricots, morello cherries. I recommend that, it's good. Nice, PB2 has an almond powder, almond butter powder. They have it here at Costco. I don't think I'm gonna get it, but it's $11.79. That's cool, I didn't know they made that. All right, at Costco I went ahead and got another bag of the organic frozen strawberries because I ended up making smoothie bowls with, or smoothies with that protein powder, these frozen strawberries and the pure rose um, nectar. So good. Uh, so I got some more. And I also got some more um, unsweetened almond milk from Costco because I'm running low on that. <gasps> I missed you fresh and quick. I missed you. <laughs> yeah, you guys remember last week I didn't buy this. I bought that, those baby romaines instead. Yeah, those, those were okay, but I missed my spinach. I got another um, thing of the Taylor Celery, Taylor Firm Celery Sticks. Um, I burned through these pretty quickly. I contemplated getting two of them because I chop up a few ribs every night for my um, soup and I snack on them throughout the day. So I go through them pretty quickly. Um, and then, speaking of my smoothie bowls uh, and smoothies, I should say smoothies because I've just been drinking them on the go. Um, but for my smoothie, I have enjoyed topping it with these Juicy Gems uh, pomegranates. I got a bag of organic Brussels sprouts. I contemplated getting two of these too because I wound up burning through these really quickly last week because you guys, you have got to try Brussels sprouts in the air fryer. OMG, even if you hate Brussels sprouts, you have to try them because they almost taste different. At least this particular Green Wave Farms organic brand from Costco. I don't know if it's because they're organic, sometimes organic produce. Whatever your thoughts on organic versus non, fine. But sometimes organic produce does taste better. There are certain types of produce in which organic, for whatever reason, tastes better. Um, and I would say these guys are one such example. They're really good. And in the air fryer, they almost taste like some kind of popcorn. I swear, it's almost like, like they're getting like buttered popcorn taste. They're really good. I can't, I can't understand what happens, but I'm not going to question it. I just make them, by the way, for those of you who are wondering, the exact same way I do the radishes, exact same way. Um, so go back to um, my recent air fryer videos and I'll show you there. So exact same way. But speaking of air fryer recipes, there was no chayote squash at Kroger. Well, actually, there was one. So I didn't take it because I felt like, well, I don't want to take the last chayote squash. Um, so I went with yellow squash and then I went ahead and got another spaghetti squash because these bad boys come out very easily in the air fryer as well. Um, so I got another one of those. And then this looked very vibrant and delicious. The um, rainbow shard, I love this stuff. And 
I, it, it pains me when I see people throwing away these stems because they do not throw them away. They are so rich in vitamins, so delicious, add so much flavor. Just chop them up like you would celery and put them in soups. You will not be sorry. They are delicious. Don't just eat the leaves, although eat the, eat the whole thing, but don't just eat the leaves. I got a yellow onion. I got a whole head of garlic. I got some more turnips. They're so pretty. They're looking really nice today with the with the rainbow shard, so aesthetic. I got another green bell pepper. See, produce just puts me in a good mood. And I got more, I got some zucchini because, because of the chayote squash dearth. Oh, and the other thing they were out of at Kroger, gosh, what, what am I, why am I so excited? Um, the other thing they were out of at Kroger was radishes. I'm really sad. There were no radishes at Kroger. Um, I don't know. It must be a change of shift stock, something or another. There were, there are a lot of my staples that, they they were out of. I was really disappointed. But they had my boy Savoy <laughs> looking so cute, fresh out the patch. <laughs> um, I I love the I love Savoy cabbage, but I will be honest with you, I buy it because it's so cute. Um, they had more of these. Speaking of cute, they had uh, more cauliflower this week that has this interesting shape, and I swear it is cuter than the normal cauliflower. Just it's, it looks like squattier or something. I don't know how to describe it. It just looks like something out of a out of a children's illustration, children's book illustration. Um, okay, oh, speaking of illustrations of buying things because they're adorable, I needed um, espresso. I'm out of, although the, the way that I'm talking with a somewhat pressured speech, I think espresso is the last thing I need, but I'm about out of my Javalia, and this is a favorite, Cafe Bustello, and check out the um, this new Artiste series all over the, all over the tin. Oh, that's so pretty. Um, or kind of a, it looks like the stick. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I got this, oh, it's like sweet. I'm totally getting that. Um, I'll probably, I hope, I, um, I probably will keep it out. <laughs> Maybe put something in it. It's really cute. I showed you guys that PB2 has the almond uh, almond powder in Costco. The reason I didn't get it specifically is because I knew I was going to get it at Kroger because I had a coupon for it at Kroger. It's on sale and you got it, the trifecta. The trifecta shines through. It is on Ibotta right now. So I went with this one because you gotta be careful on Ibotta um, to make sure that um, it's not just the brand that is a rebate. You have to make sure it's the exact size and, and item that they're they're specifying. So that almond almond butter would not have qualified. And I I really don't need a, a giant thing of, of powdered almond butter at this point. Let's be honest, I probably will get it at some point. After I showed you all that uh, roughage, this is what I uh, use to keep myself my teeth clean. <laughs> these are these are essential. I mean, I, I use these in addition to regular dental floss and, and regular brushing. This is my only dental hygiene. But, but it is it is a vegan staple. This is one of my this is my, this is my vegan supplement. You guys wanted to know what supplements I use for for my vegan diet. This <laughs> and B12. Um, and then I also got um, I have some Tuscany candles, and I'm just not in the mood for the scents that I have right now. I have lemon sugar cookie. I have a coconut one, which seems just too tropical for right now. And I have that. Um, uh, cafe mocha and I'm just not quite ready to let go of Christmas scents totally I mean it's January I still want to feel like I'm in a winter wonderland to a certain extent and so I went with a cedar and fresh pine on first whiffage it smells delicious they also had the um here I'll talk to you guys I'm facing them they also had the um the um the ho the valentine candles out again and I sniffed those because they were all on sale for $7.99 and they have really cute packaging on the Valentine ones. So I um, I gave those a whiff. Uh, they have a really nice rose one in the Valentine packaging, but I didn't want to commit to, even though I'm on a rose kick right now, I didn't I didn't want to commit to burning rose roses. I don't really like florally candles, especially in the kitchen. That was the best one that they had. They had another one that was chocolate chocolate dipped cherry that sounded like it would be good, but it was just too overwhelmingly sickeningly sweet cherry and not enough chocolate to it. And then they had um, hugs and kisses, which I contemplated getting, and I was like, what exactly is hugs and kisses? The best I could ascertain from Whippage is that it's kind of a vanilla, and it was very, very muted, so I didn't think that would resonate, but one that I remember them having last year that I had my eye out for, they had it in the wax melt, was chocolate and wine. 
I think, I, I think, if I recall correctly, I think I really like the way that smelled. But yeah, I, uh, I got that Woodland Path, long story short. And I'm gonna put my groceries away and fire that bad boy up as I get to editing you guys into a cohesive story. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's everything that I got at uh, Kroger and Costco this week. Thank you all for coming along with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.